how it's coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat. The one and only NBA great Bill Russell guest stars as a judge who gambles away his son's future in the episode The Fix. On this week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from February 23rd to March 8th, 1986, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on February 28th, Major League Baseball Commissioner Peter Uberoth officially suspended seven players in the aftermath of the Pittsburgh drug trials. Curtis Strong, in the testimony of an eclectic cast, including the Pirates' mascot, brought to light a cocaine and drug problem throughout the clubhouses in the league. All seven players would never serve their suspension, instead complying with a short list of requests from the commissioner. The case reshaped Major League Baseball and is seen as one of the biggest disasters to strike the sport. In music, during the two-week stretch between episodes, Whitney Houston's classic How Will I Know will be replaced with the rock song Kyrie from Mr. Mister. This is the second number one from the album Welcome to the Real World following the power ballad Broken Wings. This is some of my favorite music from the 80s and perfectly encapsulates the decade. In movies, it's finally here. Kicking down and out in Beverly Hills to the curb is one of the films that shaped an entire generation and is still gaining young fans. Of course, I'm speaking of the John Hughes classic Pretty in Pink. Directed by Howard Dutch, it has an all-star cast including Molly Ringwald, John Cryer, Annie Potts, James Spader, Andrew McCarthy, and Harry Dean Stanton. The film and soundtrack are still icons in pop culture and transcends generations to even teenagers today. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com, or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.